Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn the password validation program. What is our problem statement? We need to write a program to validate a password based on given criteria. And the criteria is the password must contain at least one digit. It should have one uppercase letter and it should be at least eight character long. So we need to implement the logic for a password that is provided by the user. And then we need to validate these three conditions in a password. So here I have a class called password validator. You can provide any name inside this class. I have one main method. What we need to do, we need to accept the password from the user first, and then we need to validate that as per the given conditions. Let's accept the password first. I will take the object of scanner class scanner. SC is equal to new scanner. Then I will say here system dot in. And now we will display a message here. Sys out. Enter your password. The password will be of string data type, right? So we need to accept that in a string variable. So I will say a string password is equal to sc dot next line, right? So this will accept the password. Now let's test this code first. So I will just print the password once we have accepted the password. Okay, let's run this code. So enter your password. Let's provide a password as code crush. And this is our password, right? Now what we need to do, we need to validate this password. And what we need to validate inside the password that it should have at least one digit. It should have one uppercase letter and must be at least eight characters long. So we will have one method to validate the password. So let's call that method. So we will provide your name is valid password is my method name is valid password. And this will pass this particular password that we have accepted from the user. So there is no method called is valid password, right? So we need to declare this method. So we will declare here a method inside our class. So let's declare it. So we will say here public void and we'll copy this method name is valid password and this will take one variable of type string and that is password and this is our method now. So what we will do, we will call this method is valid password so we need to declare the method as static because we are calling it from main method. So we will declare this method as static, public static. And now our error, error is gone, right? So what we will do once we accept the password from the user, we will call this method is valid password and we will pass the password. And here we will have a method which will accept our password. Now, once we have the password inside this variable, we need to check the conditions. So first thing we will check whether the length of this password is greater than eight or not, because we want it should be at least eight characters long. If it is shorter than eight, then we will say it is invalid password. So I will check the first condition here. If password, so basically this is our variable name, so password dot length. This is a inbuilt function length. If it is less than eight, then we will return false. If we are returning your false, so here you instead of void, you need to say a boolean because we are returning a boolean data type, right? And then instead of just calling it, we will store the value which is written from this method inside a variable. So I will have one variable here of boolean type say your boolean it's a result so basically inside this variable we will store the value true or false return from this is valid password method so if our password is le less than 8 then we will return false and now if the password is greater than 8 so we need to check the other conditions 
so we will declare here two variables boolean as uppercase to check if a password has uppercase or not so initially it will be false similarly we will have a boolean variable has digit initially it will also be false and now we need to check if our password contains uppercase letter also if it has a digit so we need to iterate over the password so we will have a for loop here for int i is equal to 0 i less than password dot length so we will iterate on each character of this string and then we will say i plus plus now we need to take each character from this state each character from this string so i will have a one variable of type character the name of variable is ch and then we will say password dot caret i every time in inside this iteration we will take each character so initially the value of i will be zero so we will take the first character from the string then for the iteration when it will be iterated the value of i will be one then in that case we will have the character at first position right once we have taken each character from this string then we will check if that character has uppercase also we will check if that character is a digit so we need to say here if my dear character so this is a class character and inside this class it has a method called is uppercase and then you need to pass here the variable so the variable name is ch so i will pass here ch if this condition is true if the character is uppercase then what we need to do we need to update this variable has uppercase to true so i will say here has uppercase is equal to true another condition we need to check is for if the character is digit so again i will say if we will make use of inbuilt class character dot is digit again we will pass here ch and if this condition is true then we will update the has digit variable to true has digit to true and now once we have iterated over the entire string then our loop will come out of this for loop and here we need to return what we need to return because here if the length is less than 8 then we will return the false from this method but if our length is greater than 8 we will check these conditions if that has a uppercase character also we will check if it has a digit then we need to return that right so we will return these two variables so we need to say has uppercase and has digit if this both are true only in that case we need to return the true so we will have here has uppercase and has digit and we will provide here logical operator and now let's run this code before that let's print some message here once we have the value inside this result because this result will have a true or false value as per the conditions right whatever the method has written so here we will provide a message if result when the result is true then we will print the message sysout sysout valid password valid password and if the condition is false so in that case we will say else sysout invalid password run this code so enter your password so we are getting our first message here enter your password so let's enter the password as code crush now once we have taken the password then it will call the is valid password method and it will pass the password so basically the password value is code crush now so it will come to this method is valid password so first thing is it will check if length is greater than it so what is the length here so length is 8 right so basically this condition will become false so it will not return false here so it will 
go to the statement it will set this value as uppercase and has digit to false after that it will take each character from this string the first character is c which is uppercase so this condition will become true and it will set the has uppercase to true but each digit will become false then again the iteration will be incremented so next time it will check for this o again this o is not uppercase and has uppercase is already set to true right it will not come inside this condition then it will check for each digit and if you see there is no digit inside our string so basically only has uppercase will become true has digit will not become true so this will come to this statement and it will have a has uppercase as true and has digit as false when we have true and false for and operator it will return us false right because for and operator both the state both the variables should be true then only it will return true and now if we check it is a invalid password because it does not have a digit here again if i run this code and provide a valid password let's say i provide your code crush one two three now what will be the output again it will be an invalid password because there is no uppercase letter now there is there is a digit so what will happen this has digit will become true but this has uppercase will never become true because this condition will never become true right there is no uppercase character here so again this will be our invalid password now if i provide a valid password here let's say code then crush one two three now this is a valid password we have one uppercase letter also we have the digits if i click on enter here so we are getting valid password so in this way you can implement the logic to check the password validation so that's it for this video we will see another coding questions in next video thank you for watching